Habs general manager Marc Bergevin broke the news this morning. Forward Yoel Armia won't travel with the team for the start of the Stanley Cup final in Tampa. It's not ideal. It's it's something we've kind of been dealing with all year. Army's obviously an important an important player for us. It's it's just another another little piece of adversity we'll have to deal with. Armia is having a productive postseason, scoring five goals and eight points in 17 playoff games. But Habs fans say this is just another bump in the road to the Stanley Cup. I think that uh, the team has learned to roll with the punches. Obviously, Dom Ducham has been out. I think the team can adapt. As COVID continues to haunt the Habs on the ice, the excitement has practically wiped COVID from the minds of Montrealers. We haven't seen this in our lifetime. For our kids who were babies at the time in 93, and they're huge Habs fans, it's like a thrill. It's like the first time they've ever seen this, so it's very exciting. That excitement is a boon for businesses in downtown Montreal too. As restrictions are set to loosen this week, bars and restaurant patios are busy, and hotels are welcoming fans from outside Montreal. The hands making it to the final is quite literally the electric shock everybody was hoping for. Some people, they, 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 they don't know about hockey at all, and they become like fans, and people, they're asking about Jersey again and again. And the most selling one was Curry Price, but since yesterday, it's COVID takeover. Game one of the final is tomorrow. Fans are hoping the team keeps rolling with the punches and brings home the Stanley Cup for the first time in nearly three decades. Valeria Cory Minocchio, CBC News, Montreal.